Why were the colors, red, yellow and, green, chosen for the traffic lights? Find out the answer during the course of this video. Which bird lays the, largest egg? Answer, the ostrich. Among the Earth's existing bird species, the ostrich lays the largest egg. Ostrich eggs weigh 1.5 kg, that is 3.3 pounds, and are up to 17.8 cm by 14 cm, that is 7.0 inch by 5.5 inch, in size. While the ostrich lays the largest eggs among extant, that is existing species of birds, the elephant bird of Madagascar, would dwarf the size of the ostrich egg, should it have not become extinct. Elephant bird eggs had length up to, 34 centimeters, that is 13 inch, and, weighed about 10 kilogram, that is 22 pounds. However, they became extinct by the 1700s, most likely as a result of human activity and, hunting for food. Though the ostrich lay the largest egg, it only accounts for 2% of her body weight, making it the smallest in relation to the mother. However, the kiwi produces the largest egg in the world when compared to the body ratio. Kiwi eggs make up almost 20% of the mother's weight. Which is the largest, lake in the world? Answer, the Caspian Sea. The largest lake in the world is the Caspian Sea. Although its name carries the tag, Sea, the Caspian Sea is in fact a lake, as it is completely landlocked. This massive saline lake, which is nearly the same size as Japan, borders five countries, Kazakhstan, Russia, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan and, Iran. It has the surface area of 143,200 square miles, that is 370,886 square kilometers. Lake Superior, on the United States, Canada border, is the overall second largest lake and, the largest freshwater lake with the surface area at 31,700 square miles, that is 82,103 square kilometers. Which is the largest, butterfly in the world? Answer, the Queen Alexandra bird wing. The Queen Alexandra birdwing, scientific name Ornithoptera alexandri, is the largest living butterfly, with a wingspan that stretches almost a foot across. The females, which have a chocolate brown body and wings, boast a wingspan of 11 to 12 inches, that is 28 to 31 centimeters. The males are smaller in size and, grow to only 6.7 to 7.4 inches, that is 17 to 19 centimeter, but they are much more colorful than the females and, sport a bright yellow abdomen, 
topped with electric green and aquamarine wings. One of the rarest butterflies in the world, it is found only in the rainforests of New Guinea and has been classified by the International Union for Conservation of Nature as an endangered species. Who invented the mobile phone? Answer, Martin Cooper. Martin Cooper, a researcher and engineer from Motorola, developed the first handheld mobile phone device. On 3rd of April, 1973, Martin Cooper, made the first mobile telephone call from the handheld subscriber equipment, placing a call to, Dr. Joel S. Engel of, Bell Labs. Motorola launched the Dyna TAC in 1984. It was 9 inches, that is 22.9 centimeters, long and, weighed 2.5 pounds, that is 1.1 kilograms, and, was affectionately known as, the brick. It quickly became a must-have accessory for the wealthy financiers and entrepreneurs. However, it would take many more years to build out cellular networks and, drive down production costs, to make cell phones a viable commercial product. Now back to the question number one. Why were the colors, red, yellow and, green, chosen for the traffic lights? Answer, traffic lights have their origins in the railroad systems of the 1800s, long before automobiles were on the roads. Train engineers needed a way to know when to stop their locomotives and, when to slow down. The color red was selected for signaling, stop as red has the longest wavelength of any color on the spectrum of visible light and, hence can be seen from greater distances, allowing operators to begin slowing down sooner. Additionally, most people and cultures associated red color with something potentially dangerous, or serious. Back in the early days of railway lights, white color light was used to indicate, go and, green color light was used to indicate, caution. However, engineers and locomotive operators had a hard time spotting the white light signal from amongst the light of stars and other lanterns at night time. Also, since red colored filters over a white light was used to indicate a red signal, any incident of the filter malfunctioning or falling down, would erroneously convey the wrong signal of, go instead of, stop, which resulted in few accidents. To remedy this problem, white color was eliminated and yellow, the second easiest color to see from a distance, was added to indicate, caution. Green color whose wavelength is next to and, shorter than yellow on the visible spectrum, was shifted to indicate, all clear to proceed or, go. Over a period of time in England, the railroad system was adopted for traffic lights to manage horse-drawn carriages. However, it wasn't until 1920, that a Detroit police officer named William L. Potts, devised the three-colored system, red, yellow and, green to manage the vehicular traffic on roads. <laughs>